Hi everyone, my name is Phil Batterson and this is The Kick Camper. Alright, so uh, the reason why I made this camper is because I wanted to A, build my own camper, but uh, B, I wanted to make a camper that was no weld and no sew. Um, and I wanted to prove to people that you could make a camper that was uh, just as sturdy, just as durable without welding skills and without sewing skills compared to um, other campers that are out there. Um, so uh, the main components of this camper are uh, 8020 extruded aluminum. And the thing that I like about these so much is that uh, all of these channels that you have have uh, readily available mounting hardware and all of that so you can uh, integrate anything that you really want into the frame you can mount you know your your pieces of uh, composite material to the frame you can make doors you can make uh, panels you can do all this sort of stuff and it just is a really easy platform to customize and build uh, your very own camper all right so my goals with building the camper were to uh, have an affordable lightweight easy to build camper. So um, I think I've accomplished that fairly well. Uh, the, the total cost of both materials was still less than $4,000. I over-engineered um, you know, pieces and parts of the camper. I really wanted uh, cabana doors, so I you know, had to buy a little bit more extruded aluminum. So the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bill of materials in a DIY build guide. And uh, the great thing about these campers is that they're fully customizable. You can say, well, I don't want these cabana doors, so I'm just going to put a panel and I'm just going to glue the panel or bolt the panel right directly to the 8020 aluminum. Um, that will save you a little bit of money. Uh, I also went with aluminum composite material, which is uh, a little bit expensive. It was about $70 for a 4 by 8 sheet, um, but I really like it because it's two pieces of aluminum sandwiched around polyurethane core. Uh, this means that it's going to be rust resistant, has a little bit uh, higher uh, insulation value than say just wood. Um, and it's just going to last a really long time and it's fairly lightweight. So, uh, so that's the cost aspect of things. Um, from a weight perspective, the entire camper weighs uh, about 400 pounds. Um, which again, I'm really happy with. My last camper was 350 pounds. And for this camper, I decided to make um, the entire bed or like the, the roof footprint of the camper itself, uh, the entire length or width of the, uh, of the camper itself. So it's 64 inches wide and 10, 10 feet long. So 120 inches uh, from the front to the back. Um, so it, when we get in there, it's, it provides a lot of space. Um, and then the third thing is that I wanted it easy to build. I've kind of already touched on this, but uh, using the 8020 aluminum material uh, really makes it easy to uh, bolt things together, uh, mount things directly to the rails, uh, and, and all of that. Overall, it's just a really nice platform to uh, be able to uh, build and tweak and, and design things around that. Um, with that being said, I'm really excited because I just got a 270 degree uh, ostrich wing awning and I'm going to be able to uh, fabricate my own mounting pieces and mount them directly to the rails. Um, so I don't have to like bolt them in, do any through holes, anything like that. I'm just going to be able to uh, mount the ostrich wing awning directly to the camper itself through these channels. All right, so with that, let's do a quick walk around of the entire camper. All right, so uh, first I want to just start with the panels. So all of these panels, like I said, were are, are aluminum composite material, and um, you can buy them in a bunch of different colors, but the cheapest ones are white. So what I did is I bought them in the white color, and then I uh, put um, just car wrap vinyl around all of it. Uh, that's something that I was like, well, I think it'll look really cool. It costs a little bit more money and it takes a little bit of, you know, technicality to learn. Um, but it was definitely worth it because I think this green looks really good. I added some decals to it as well. Um, that's another fun thing about building your own camper. If you have, you know, stickers and other things like that, you can make it and mold it to exactly how you want it to, to look. Um, so with these panels, I added um, slam latches. So all of these slam latches are can lock and they simply you just click the button 
and then you can use those handles and then the whole door pops up and you can see our bed and sleeping area right here. Um, so another thing that I really like is I mounted these uh, gas struts directly to the uh, alumina or the channels themselves if you want to come over here and take a look. Um, and it gives you the ability to tweak and move the gas struts up and down without actually having to uh, re-bolt them in or re-weld them in and stuff like that. So if you don't really know where your gas struts are going to go and you want to, you know, raise and lower the, the door, um, it's, a, it's a super easy option. So now we'll move around to the other sides of the campers and just, or camper and just open all the doors. All of these gas struts, I think, are 35 pound um, gas struts. I started originally with uh, 25 pound gas struts, but realized that they weren't going to be uh, exactly what I needed to push the doors all the way up. So an upgrade to a 35, really easy, uh, quick swap, and now they work really well and they stay up really nicely. Um, so all of the slam latches, going back to like the locking mechanisms, they all uh, mount or uh, latch to these uh, angles that I bolted into the to the rails themselves. Again, didn't have to uh, you know weld anything or anything like that. Just simply uh, put your angle on the aluminum and then dial in your slam latch to lock into place. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about is uh, my decision to do a pop top camper versus a uh, wedge style camper. So um, there are merits to both. The wedge style camper is super easy to deploy. You only need two gas struts, and if the gas struts are strong enough, they can keep the entire roof uh, completely deployed uh, without any uh, you know, other mechanisms to keep it in place. Um, the pop-up camper requires four gas struts and um, the pop-up mechanisms, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, but I wanted that because lifting the roof up, I think for this, it's like 32 inches or so, uh, really provides me with a lot of head space. It allows me to sit up in bed without hitting my head or anything like that. And that uh, sort of uh, comfort is what I was looking for um, in my camper. I've done wedge style campers in the past. And again, they're super easy to do. So, you know, if you you don't want to do that, you can totally tweak these designs in order to actually accommodate that. But I decided to go with the pop-up camper for that reason. Um, the canvas is made out of this stuff called polycoated vinyl, which is used in sailboats and raft material and other things like that. And it's really nice. Um, because you don't necessarily have to sew everything. You can use this stuff. I'm pretty sure it's called H66 vinyl glue. Um, so you use this H66 vinyl glue on all your seams, all your cuts, all of that sort of stuff. And it essentially welds the uh, polycoated vinyl together. Um, I opted to do that because I don't have an industrial sewing machine. Um, and it's, it's, really, it's really worked out uh, quite well. Um, the material is a little thicker than like tent canvas or tent material. Um, so it provides just a little extra insulation. Obviously that doesn't matter when I have giant windows, um, but I thought it was a, a good option for water wicking and uh, you know, the ability to actually uh, sew and repair without having to actually sew. You just use the glue. Next thing that we'll just like kind of highlight is how I actually mounted this camper to the rails of the truck. So the last one I had to, cu I custom made some mounts, um, but this one I made, or I just used a uh, truck mounting uh, brackets that fit into my uh, T-slots or my slots on the uh, rails of my truck bed. And then I just cranked them down. Uh, these have been working really, really well. Uh, haven't moved since I mounted them or anything like that. And the camper has stayed uh, totally in place. All right, so the next thing we'll do is we'll jump up into the camper and I'll give you kind of a, a tour. So here is the interior of the camper. Uh, we got the cabana doors just for all of the airflow and keeping the, the camper light on the inside. Um, we have, you know, just a big gallon, giant seven gallon uh, tank of water. Um, you know, we have a number of dogs, so we need to keep them hydrated uh, and keep ourselves hydrated. I have a cooler in the very back. Let's see if we can do it a cooler in the back, and then we have a nice little uh, bench prototype that I fashioned that I eventually plan to convert to uh, 8020 aluminum and then sell um, some plans for that because the uh, 
the companies that sell 8020 aluminum plans for like shelving units and those sort of things, I think are, uh, it costs a lot of money for those sort of things. And I think I could provide some plans for people to save them a lot of money. We have our bed right here, which is a four inch memory foam mattress. And then once we start getting into the camper, the first thing you'll see is the camper platform. So this is the camper platform or the, the sleeping platform, excuse me. And it's got a 34 inch slide out piece of material that goes onto, oh, it's already trying to go onto the rails, that goes onto these rails that mount directly to the bottom of the 8020 aluminum. And you just pull it out, get it all situated. And then you have a 60 by 80 inch sleeping area. So the next thing you'll see is just how we actually set it up when we're actually sleeping. All right, so here is the bed once it's all set up and ready to go. Uh, this, I'm pretty sure, was just a full-size bed, uh, but definitely have a lot more space to fit uh, a queen-size bed if we really want to. Um, here's the view with these massive screen doors that we have. And then here are the pop-up mechanisms. So this is what I was talking about. So these pop-up mechanisms bolt to the frame at the bottom, bolt to the frame at the top, and then bolt to each other right here. Um, and when I first installed these, they were a little crooked. Um, so I had to reinstall them. And that's why they're a little off center. Um, but other than that, these work really well and they keep the, the roof from moving side to side. Then we have the gas struts. So the gas struts I had decided to tuck onto the inside of the camper this time um, because I was noticing that even though I had gotten nice, uh, you know, supposedly weather resistant gas struts, they were starting to rust out in the uh, organ, um, organ rain. And then uh, the last thing that I did is I covered the interior or I insulated the interior with um, just one inch thick uh, insulation. But then I decided to cover it with this uh, wood style vinyl finish. And I think it looks really, really nice. Um, you can't really see it on the uh, other doors right here because they're popped out. But it makes it kind of feel like a like a little like modern rustic cabin sort of mixture. And I'm going to put uh, the wood finish or the wood vinyl on uh, both of the pop up mechanisms going forward. Yeah, so that's the interior of the camper. Um, I'm not 100% sure if my mattress will fit all the way uh, underneath the roof when we uh, pull it down, but I'm going to try because that would make things a whole heck of a lot easier. Uh, and then going forward, I'm going to build out this bench so we have a lot more uh, storage and everything like that. I got to trim down uh, the uh, bed rail stiffener so we can have a nice little like pull out camper kitchen um, but all of that is to come so uh, if you guys like these videos and find them useful uh, please drop a like on the video uh, feel free to subscribe uh, it really helps the channel out i am going to eventually or by the time this video comes out i should have a diy uh, bill of materials and build guide that is released and i will be selling those so again if you um, if you want to help support the channel go ahead and purchase one of those if you're thinking about building your own camper uh, you can find me on instagram at kit.campers um, and you know drop me a dm and i would be more than happy to help you uh, you know design a camper talk through different design ideas and those sort of things i hope you guys enjoy the camper leave a comment what's your favorite feature on the camper or what's the thing that you would customize and tweak yourself awesome thanks guys